girls are now menstruating earlier than before, some before they even turn nine, according to a new study published by the JAMA Network Open. To go over the findings, we're talking with Chief of Pediatric and Adolescent Gynecology at Texas Children's Hospital, Dr. Jennifer Dietrich. Thank you so much for coming into the studio yeah. to join me. Thank you for having me. So this is an interesting topic because yes. do we know, I mean, so there's before nine is early, right? Do yes. we know why the early start? Yeah, well, there's a couple of reasons. I mean, certainly uh, young girls are starting to menstruate a little bit earlier because of several factors. We know that childhood obesity rates have risen um, really since the 1990s, where the rate of childhood obesity was 8%. But starting in 2020, the rate went up to 20%, and that's pretty consistent to this point. And so rates of obesity kind of go hand in hand with pubertal development, mm -hmm. and therefore menstruation can also happen happen early for some girls. So having a high high body fat affects our hormones? Is it, that what it's doing? It, it does. And, you know, in addition to that, while that accounts for, you know, maybe just under 50% of cases of early puberty, we know that there are some environmental factors as well. Mm -hmm. You know, those can come from air pollutants or common things that we use, um, you know, such as hair products or cosmetics. Oh, wow. So like, that when we talk about like toxic chemicals in the environment, mm -hmm. that's also having an impact on our hormones and on our kids' hormones. It is. What about food? Because um, I mean, I actually thought one of the things you were going to mention was having steroids in foods and, and things that, you know, are artificial ingredients that we're ingesting into our body. Do you think that's a factor? So certainly there are phytoestrogens out there and that affects our pubertal development as well. It affects our body mass index. And so, you know, the more often that kids are getting fresh fruits and vegetables, the better it is overall. A whole food diet. Yeah. yeah. What, what's a normal age for a girl to begin her period? Yeah, so on average, you know, we know that in, in most girls, it would be around 12 or 12 and a half. But, you know, now we see that based on this most recent study in JAMA, um, that, you know, the first period on average is at about 11.9 years. So it's just under 12 these days. And so that's about the average age that most girls are going to get their first period. But we obviously will have some girls getting their periods as early as, as eight years of age, and some girls who might get their periods as late as 16. I imagine that would be so confusing to a young girl because we're talking about elementary age yes. as opposed to the average age would be more middle school where you might also be surrounded by peers who are yes. going through the same thing. Absolutely, absolutely. It could be a terrifying time, especially when other uh, peers around them are not going through that same sort of process of body changes, um, you know, change in emotions, all of yeah. that goes together. Yeah. So certainly it can be a trying time for those yeah. young girls. We're at a point in society where we understand the importance of that, that mental aspect on our physical health Absolutely. as well. So this could have a ripple effect into a, a lot of areas of a young girl's development. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Should this be something that parents should be concerned about or, or just be aware about? Um, well, you know, there are some factors that could be genetic, and it may be the right time for some individuals, but absolutely, you know, certainly um, the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists would recommend that young girls see an obstetrician gynecologist or a pediatric and adolescent gynecologist by the ages of 13 and 15. But if there are other, you know, gynecologic problems happening earlier, they should absolutely reach out to us. Are you, are you talking about having them do a, an annual well woman's visit as young as 13? Uh, so it's a little bit different than the typical okay. well woman visit that um, an adult woman might go through, but it's mostly a time to touch base about puberty, perhaps menstruation, and any other factors that might be occurring. Mm -hmm. Why uh, is this also, so going back to the study that was showing yeah. that young girls are starting maybe even as young as, as nine, like we were discussing, why is that also affecting low income and minority groups more than others? Yeah, I mean, I think that one of the issues is just access to healthy foods. You know, there are some food deserts out there and unfortunately not everyone has access to fresh fruits and vegetables. You know, certainly when people are in more urban environments as well, there aren't as many green spaces and perhaps not as much room to grow fresh fruits and vegetables either. And so that affects um, people's access as well. Mm -hmm. So if you are a family who feels like you're doing mm -hmm. everything right with your diet and maybe a young girl also starts early, um, I mean, is that an indication that there's a health concern? Is it anything to worry about? Or maybe in some cases it could just be 
like you said, there's a, there is a genetic component, but in right. some cases it could be considered normal and, and there isn't something to worry about? Yeah, I mean, part of the, the um, you know, pubertal factors that we balance includes kind of the patient's height. And we also uh, certainly are concerned with the genetics in the family. Mm -hmm. We're always inquiring when other women in the family may have gotten their first period or started kind of pubertal development in general. And so it could be the right time, especially based on kind of their growth and height potential. Um, but it may be the wrong time as well. And so it's a time for us to check in, yeah. certainly because the earlier that puberty happens for some young girls, um, that may be an indication of risk factors for the future, especially if that goes along with childhood obesity. Well, I love you coming on and talking about this topic yeah. so much because often this is a topic we avoid talking about, but everything about, about our health is a reflection of what's yeah. going on on the inside. So as you mentioned, it's you know good to know and be aware of that this is happening and an age to also be seeing, have your daughter seeing a doctor. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Dr. Jennifer Dietrich, thank you so much for joining me. Thank I appreciate you. your time this morning. Thank you.